so I just, you know, I didn't want that to get, you know, into my body, which would then get into my baby's body. UC Davis researchers continue taking a closer look at the effects of October's firestorms, this time focusing on pregnant women. They're asking expecting mothers and those with newborn babies to participate, hoping to measure their exposure to toxic smoke and ash. New tonight, CBS 13's Angela Greenwood is live at UC Davis with more on this study. Angela. And Adrian and Tony, this really is the first study of its kind to explore the health impacts a wildfire can have on pregnant women and their babies. And so far, about 200 women have signed up, curious to know what they've been exposed to. When the firestorm ripped through her Santa Rosa neighborhood, the first thing on Laurel Chambers' mind was her unborn baby. Were there adverse health outcomes that, that happened as a result of this. And the night, now two-week-old Eleanor was born, UC Davis researchers were there to help answer those questions. That give us a window into um, pregnancy and some of those exposures. With a $270,000 grant, UC Davis researchers are studying the health effects of wildfires on pregnant women and their babies, testing blood, hair, and breast milk, as well as the placenta and the cord blood of newborns. To see kind of how, how much is getting through to the baby as they're developing. Chambers was just two months pregnant when the fires broke out. Her house didn't burn, but she was exposed to heavy smoke and ash for weeks afterward. You know, it's not like a typical wildfire where it's just vegetation burning. There's all kinds of chemicals. And of those chemicals, researchers first focusing on flame retardants, comparing what's found in already collected samples of ash to what's found in mom and baby. So that's the, you know, big caution is that, you know, if we find these exposures, we really don't know what that means. Hair samples will also be taken to look at stress levels of expecting mothers during disaster. So far, so good. Her newborn daughter is healthy as can be, and Chambers says wildfire exposure or not, she hopes she stays that way. Hopefully our, our bodies are really good at keeping that kind of stuff from, from our babies. And UC Davis is looking for more women to participate. If you are a new mom who is pregnant during the October wildfires or are expected to give birth by October 31st of this year, you are invited to sign up. And we have posted information on how to do that on our website, cbs13.com. It'll be fascinating to see and hear the results. Angela, thanks so much.